Now we're going to get into the fine tuning a little bit. I've uh, taken my regular Oco carburetor off and we're going to put on a different one. One thing I noticed is I put the bike up on blocks so the engine or the rear wheel could turn freely and the engine works better. I'd like to give a shout out to a gentleman by the name of Alec in uh, Taiwan. He just invited me over to Taiwan to see some of their DO races and I, I want to say thank you sir. I appreciate that. I'd love to go over and take my bike and race over there but they'd probably outlaw it because it's just too damn fast. That's how come I got outlawed at the Isle of Man TT races for life. No repeal, no nothing. They won't let me race this against a thousand cc bikes because they know I'm going to kick their ass. Anyway, I'd just like to thank you. And Alex asked me, it's a ALEC, Alec asked me if what my temperature reading was and he told me in Celsius which I'm not sure that much about because I do everything in Fahrenheit but Alex, Alec one thing I'd like to say and I'm glad you asked the question is that I've watched the races in uh, Singapore and Taiwan and I can't believe those bikes I can't believe the sounds I can't believe the speed they get and I can't believe how they can go mile after mile after mile and still keep up that pace it just, it, I would love to go over there and go through the shops and just look at the bikes. But anyway, I live in a place called uh, Washington State. The elevation is one thing. The temperature is one thing. The uh, humidity is one thing. The air condition is one thing. This all affects that little tiny 50 cent piston. Now, I noticed in uh, Taiwan and in uh, Singapore the races they had there these that these guys and I'm jealous because they're like at full grown these riders are 130 pounds well I'm 210 pounds I'm a fat ass American actually I'm really good looking I look like Brad Pitt and uh, Jason Momoa but I'm better looking rock on anyway You ask what the um, the operating temperature is and the idle temperature. That's the way it is for me in my area of the world and with my weight. Now, if I weighed 50 pounds less, it really makes a difference on these one-cylinder bikes. Plus, your elevation where you live in Taiwan is different. Your, uh, your weight may be different. I don't know what, what you look like, but you're probably you weigh less than this old, ma old fat ass. Howley. So anyway, I've got a, I've got a, I'm doing good this week. To all my friends out there, Grant and uh, Frankie and everyone, Alex and everybody else, Serpenza. I've been invited to go to Hawaii. Well, I'm seeing if I can get an invite to for their winter race, which I don't know if I do it, but I'll tell you what, it, I I might just. I don't know I might just do it the winter ride anyway because it'd be nice to tell you the truth just to ride the bike when I don't have to do it alone I ride this thing everywhere alone you've seen my helmet cameras everything else there is no other bikes like this here I love to sneak up on other mopeds and those there there's there's a few of them there's probably 10 or 20 in town and I creep up on them and I just stop light and then I blow their doors off it's, that gives me the, the most exciting fun of my day. And especially when I take on these kids with their Lexuses and Curas. And that's what they race in, in America. And Honda um, Accords with these Japanese engines in them. I guess you can, you can get a Jap Japanese car called a Skyline. It's got a thousand horsepower. Kind of ugly looking, but it, it's it's beautiful engine. It must be. Anyway, um, back to carburetors. I lost my place here. Next video.